Well, uh, I had the great pleasure of moderating a session on corporate governance today, a really big issue, uh, it seems to me, for everyone here at Davos. The, the motion we were debating was whether uh, corporate governance had failed as a mechanism for ensuring that corporations uh, contribute to social benefit and economic prosperity. We had two, two votes uh, on this, one at the beginning and one at the end. At the beginning, no fewer than 70% of the participants thought that corporate governance under shareholder maximization, uh, uh, shareholder value maximization had failed. 70%. I thought that was absolutely astonishing. Then we had a vigorous debate, and at the end of the debate, only 55% thought that shareholder value maximization had failed. So we could say that the people against the motion, the people in favor of shareholder value maximization, had sort of won the debate in the sense that they shifted opinion away from the extremely negative starting point. But the interesting thing remains that even after an hour's very deep, very passionate discussion here in Davos among predominantly corporate a corporate audience, no fewer than 55% decided that shareholder value maximization had failed. And I have to say, listening to the debate, many very powerful points were made by the participants, and particularly those arguing this position said it had increased inequality, it had allowed corporate managers to exploit firms for their own interests, take money away from shareholders and from, and from, uh, uh, from workers. So there were some very powerful mo mo points made. On the other hand, the people against had argued, well, in the end, this is, this is capitalism, this is what capitalism is about, and capitalism is the great machine for prosperity. But in the end, shareholder value maximization, though it got closer, lost.